You know, I think imposter syndrome can play out in a number of ways. One of the common ways is that it causes people to try to fly under the radar, right? So try to, you know, not ask any questions, not share ideas, just try to kind of make it through each day, each month, each year without anyone really noticing them because they worry that if they're noticed, they'll be exposed as a fake or fraud or as a real imposter. Some of the other things that imposter syndrome does is that it causes people to procrastinate right? Okay. Because if you feel like you're an imposter, you feel like you don't have anything to give or contribute, it feels really daunting to do any work, right? It feels overwhelming because that feels like if I'm not able to do it well, then they're going to find me out, etc. So some people will procrastinate. Other people will overwork, they work themselves to exhaustion because they feel that they have to prove that they are good because they really don't feel they're good enough. And so every project, every work tasks need to be done to the max. And so they work and work and work and they don't take breaks because they don't feel good enough and they feel like imposters. Another way that imposter syndrome holds us back is that it makes it harder to learn. It's really hard to open ourselves up for learning, to ask questions, to acknowledge when we don't know everything, when we feel like an imposter because the acknowledgement that we don't know anything, we worry that that will prove that we really aren't good enough, that we really, really don't know what we're doing.